and welcome back everybody to Ace Tech and ROM Reviews. Um, today we are going to go over another um, ROM for the Nexus 6 which is in Pi. Uh, there are only two that I know of right now. This ROM is AEX or AOSP Extended. I figured I'd start this one by letting you see what the uh, boot animation looks like. Uh, it's basic Google boot animation. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna. I do have my SIM card in this, guys. So um, I'm gonna try. To, I'll probably turn the volume down uh, and put it on Do Not Disturb. Uh, call down. Ring that. Ring down. All right. And I have it on Do Not Disturb. Basically, that's where it's at. Um, I am running Substratum right now. Uh, just because I was testing it, I wanted to make sure that uh, Substratum was working. And yes, guys, I was going to try to show you what it looked like as Flash, but it looks just like um, the other videos that I showed you when you first uh, Flash it. There are very few apps. Um, I wanted to do this the way I used to do my videos, which is show you how I use it. Uh, so I do have all of my apps loaded. I am running Nova Launcher uh, because I don't like the Google search on my uh, menu or on my home screen uh, and I can get rid of it with Nova Launcher you can't get rid of it uh, with the launcher that it comes with and quickly I'm just going to show you what it looks like themed uh, with the theme that I'm running and if I go into Substratum I'm going to show you the theme that I am actually running right now uh, and that theme would be Swift Black uh, this one right here and yes I have my display set up uh, bigger I will set it down uh, once we start getting into the ROM, but I just wanted to show you uh, that Substratum does work with Pi. Uh, now, uh, you have to bear in mind that not all apps are going to uh, get this, or not all apps are going to get themed. It's just because it is a new version of Android, it's going to take a while, and we may never, um, we may never get, uh, you know, true or 100% theming with Pi. It's just the nature of the beast, but... Uh, there's phone, uh, contacts, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the Play Store. Uh, Play Store does come themed, uh, well with this theme it does theme that. Uh, Google Plus uh, is themed as well. And Hangouts is also themed, let me find it, Hangouts. As you guys can see. Uh, I'm going to show you what the drop down looks like uh, and we're going to go ahead and go into settings. I'll let you guys see. It looks really nice. It still holds them colorful icons uh, that I like in Pi in settings so that's really cool. But also since if you go into any of the other, um, if you go deeper into settings, you know it is definitely uh, themed as well like you know network and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and take the theme off um, and uh, we'll go ahead and get into this. Uh, I will tell you guys that uh, when you use Substratum on this, um, when you, uh, after it's done building the theme, you're going to have to reboot the device. It does not automatically just theme it. But once you reboot the device, go back into Substratum, you go, uh, you, then you go back into the theme that you installed, you click on that uh, drop down, and then you click uh, Enable Installed Overlays, and it will uh, install everything. Um, and then to uh, uh, dis, you know, or to turn all the themes off, you go back in disable installed overlays you don't have to reboot it uh, in order to put your theme back on and take it off uh, that all works fine but your initial uh, theme setup when you first uh, install a theme with substratum when it's done you're going to have to reboot the device um, and let it boot back up and then again just do what I showed you uh, now we're going to go ahead and get into this um, again uh, this is uh, AEX which is AOSP uh, extended uh, for the Nexus 6, this is Android version uh, 9, uh, which is Pi. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into About Phone, but I want to cover up my phone number. Alright, uh, there you guys can see uh, it is uh, Nexus 6. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll up. So I'm just trying to keep my phone number hidden. Alright, and I just scrolled down a little bit. Uh, you, as you guys can see, I'm with Verizon, uh, Nexus 6. Uh, Android version 9, uh, extended version uh, 5.9. Uh, build date, uh, and then of course uh, kernel and all that. Uh, it's not showing, but 
there's your build number. Um, I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be truthful. I did have some issues with my data at first, uh, but I did do the uh, star pound star pound four six three or four seven three seven um, pound star pound star. I went in there, changed some stuff around. Uh, basically, clicked on a, a CDMA or CDMA LTE CDMA only, uh, and then rebooted the device. And I had no problems after that. I've been making phone calls, uh, sending text. Uh, you, it, it, MMS is all working. Everything's working. Uh, so the phone is actually working good. Uh, I have not lost my data yet uh, since I did that. So everything is actually working really well. I'm gonna, while I'm here, we're going to hit developer options. Uh, this is the developer options. Um, it does come actually enabled by default. You don't have to go into about phone, scroll down to your build number and hit that uh, six or seven times. Uh, developer options are enabled by default as well as USB debugging is already turned on. Uh, I did click on local terminal. I like that. Uh, if you guys know how to use local terminal, again, you are way ahead of the game. There are many things you can do with it. Um, it just works. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to uh, the uh, drawing section because that's the one that I'm most concerned with. Uh, this ROM does come with uh, Windows animation, your transition animation, and your animation uh, duration scale. All three of those are set at one. Uh, I turn them all off. It just seems to make the phone much snappier. Um, yes, the animations look pretty cool in Pi. I don't need that. I'd rather have a snappier, really, really fast, responsive phone uh, over seeing animations. All right, back into settings. Uh, quickly, we are going to go into, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you again, uh, network. And this is going to be your Wi-Fi and your mobile connections. Uh, this is going to be where uh, you go and actually, if you have any issues, go into mobile network. Uh, hit advanced uh, and then you what you're basically going to do is uh, You're going to go preferred network type um, you, You're going to want to be on either global or LTE CDMA uh, Either one will work uh, access point names. Of course mine is Verizon uh, intranet um, and uh, Mobile networks what uh, if we go back listen to me uh, network and Network and internet is going to be Wi-Fi. Whoops, I just did that one. Connected devices, Bluetooth and uh, NFC. So if you guys use NFC or if you use anything Bluetooth-wise, you're going to go there. Uh, apps and notifications are all the same. Uh, extensions, this is going to be the custom settings. Uh, right now, status bar, there's nothing in here. Uh, just like the uh, other ROM I showed you, a nitrogen, um, there are no clock settings. You do have your status bar items. You can turn on or off whatever you want to show or not show. Uh, traffic indicators, if you want that showing uh, ingoing or outgoing uh, uh, network traffic, go ahead and click that on. Uh, and then miscellaneous extension is going to be your roaming indicator. 4G icon, which I'm going to click on. Um, it was only showing 4 or 3G for the longest time. I thought there was something wrong with the ROM. No, it was me being in, inside my house and not having a very strong connection. Once I went outside, uh, I went to take my grandson to school this morning and I noticed that as soon as I went outside, it popped right over to LTE. So everything's working great. Uh, LT, full LTE, everything. Uh, status bar gestures, double tap. I don't like to use that, but it's there if you want it. Notification panel is up next. You have your quick settings. Uh, you have your brightness slider, brightness icon uh, under notifications. Uh, heads up. It allows us to turn that off. Thank goodness for that. Uh, I don't like using heads up so I go ahead and shut it off and that's pretty much it for that all right next up is going to be navigation uh, this is where you can set up your nav bar uh, allow nav bar actually yes uh, I want it uh, I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and set this up um, you know for pi if you want to use it I don't like that um, I was getting used to it because I do have it on my Pixel and I can't change it on my Pixel. Well, actually, I can change it on my Pixel. Um, and I did, I finally did change it over. I like this better than that. I, that double swipe to get into my app drawer sucks. I'd rather have a, uh, a recents button. So I quit using it. Uh, let's see, next up is going to be recents. Uh, 
Um, again, there's nothing underneath that for custom settings. Uh, lock screen is up next. Uh, you do have lock screen UI. Um, you know, face auto unlock, double tap on lock screen uh, to sleep. Uh, and then, of course, your shortcuts if you want to, uh, you know, get in there and do anything with that. That's what you have there. Uh, next up is going to be system and buttons. Uh, power menu. Just a truckload of... Um, power menu options and if I go ahead and bring up the power menu I'll show you uh, you just keep you just scroll through it like that and that's how you access everything that you enabled in there and of course if I was to choose dark that would be black uh, on the theme which we're going to go over uh, let me see screen off uh, power Bluetooth or button torch listen to me I have mine set up for uh, one minute that way if I do inadvertently hit that button while it's in my pocket or something it's going to shut off after a minute and not waste my battery um, uh, your volume rockers uh, playback control stuff like that uh, is all there uh, and that's pretty much it for custom settings uh, we are going to go back uh, we're going to go into display basic stuff in display nothing whoops nothing more than normal come on All right, uh, I'm going to set that back for two minutes again. Uh, let's see, I do have my font size up. Uh, if I go down to normal, and if I put my, let me see, where is it? Display size at default, which is right here. Nope, which is right here. <laughs> okay, that's default. Okay, uh, default looks like that. Ah, come on. We're going to go back to display. Uh, advanced, I'm going to go back to the font size. Uh, I think it's like 95 or 100. 100% is default. Hundred and five. I think that's default. Uh, I don't like that. Um, it's just too small for me. I mean, I can hardly see it on the screen here, so I'm going to go 115%. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back into display size. I'm going to go back up to, uh, I'll go to large uh, as opposed to default. Uh, that'll make it easier to see on the screen. Actually, I'm going to go back to where I was, which is larger. There we go. Much better. All right, I just had to make sure that this was still in focus. And I'm using my Pixel 2 XL for the uh, video, so it's just got autofocus that just works. It's not like my... Uh, LG V10 where the autofocus just focuses in and out, in and out, and then gets stuck on something. So, uh, so far it's working good. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I do want to go over the device theme area. Uh, I do have it on light, um, which uh, light shows a white background for your uh, quick settings and your power menu uh, and your home screen if you're going to stick on the stock launcher. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and go with dark. Uh, that changes that to a dark gray. Uh, now with my theme that I'm that I was running, this is black, black and that blue color. Uh, it would be nice if we could change those colors around from blue to something else, but we I guess I should just be lucky that I was able to theme it in Pi because Google made it clear that they were going to disable theming uh, in Pi. They did not want us to be able to have that kind of control over our phones. Uh, again, this that's not me saying that. That was Google saying that. Uh, they want their system to be like iOS where we cannot alter it in any way shape or form uh, it just kind of seems crazy that's what drew me to Android over uh, the iPhone to begin with was because of the customizations I could do to it with widgets and uh, launchers and then by unlocking my boot bootloader and throwing twerp on it I could throw a custom ROM on it and then just go crazy with it and make it my phone you know but Google doesn't want that they want you to have a phone that they want you to have and it, it just makes me mad. Uh, but, you know, I, I, it is what it is. There's not much I can do about it. Uh, I'm just, you know, i I, I got to quit ranting. Uh, these are all your sounds that you can turn on or off. Um, I figured I'd let you guys scroll through that while I was <laughs> uh, on my soapbox there. Uh, under uh, security and location, again, guys, um, this is not encrypted. And if you are going to um, install this ROM, you need to be decrypted. That means you, when you go to encryption, it should say encrypt phone. Or if you're running Mar uh, Oreo, 
Uh, I think it'll say decrypted if you are unencrypted. Uh, but if you are encrypted, it will just say encrypted right here. If you are encrypted, you cannot run Pi. You have to decrypt your phone. If you don't know how to do that, watch the video I put out yesterday on uh, how to decrypt um, the Nexus 6 and install Pi. All right. Uh, I, it's a very long video, but I go into great detail on how to do this. Uh, that's it for security. Uh, I already went through system and um, um, developer options, so I showed all that. That's it, guys. Um, this is AOSP Extended. Um, I think it's, it's running great so far. Uh, I do like the ROM. Uh, I'm hoping that they get some more custom features built into it that would be awesome uh, but you know I'm not holding my breath I understand <laughs> the way things are with Pi and I'm just happy that we have as many custom features as we have I'd love to see uh, a center clock up there um, you know uh, along with a couple other things like uh, a button to unlink my ringtone and notification sounds would be nice um, but other than that, you know, so far it's been running good. Uh, guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, uh, you know, like, share, uh, subscribe. Um, you know, if you, if you want to get my videos whenever they are released, make sure that you uh, hit that uh, notification button. Uh, if you're on the computer, uh, if you're on Android, you don't have that notification button, but it is what it is. Um, so again, guys, um, I appreciate you watching my video. Make sure you hit that uh, uh, like button. I want to thank all of my subscribers. You guys are awesome, and I will see you.